Hello everyone, in this tutorial I will show you how you can make your character die and respawn and we will add a nice dead widget to it as well. So to start off, open your level blueprint and create an event tick. The event tick is basically something that will fire off every frame, so 60 times a second or something. So we want to check if our character's health is below zero, because then we want to do something. So we cast to the third, cast, cast your character and get the player character. And then get the health. We created in a couple of videos ago. And then check if health is lower than or equal to zero we want to do once because event tick does something 60 times a second but we only want to do things once when we have reached zero hp we want to destroy our character And plug that in over there but we also want to respawn so we want to type spawn actor from class make sure you select your character over here and then we want to split the struct pin of the transform so we can put in values in X Y and Z and that's the location we have to give for the respawn and then we have to possess this character because if we spawn it in it will just stand there so we still need to control it plug this in over here and get a reference to the player controller right there so now we still need to fill in the location so we will have a look at the map. This is where the player starts. So I'll take this as a respawn location. Just click on the character and then look at look in the details panel and find the values of the location. So my values are minus 750 for the X, 390 for the Y, and 230 for the Z so this should already work we will test this out so I'll run into our enemy that I've created last time so right now we just die and respawn over here but still it doesn't really look like a respawn oh and we forgot something as you can see I'm not dying right now that's because we forgot something. You have to drag this into the reset because the do once says I'm only going to do this once so when you've died I'll not do it again. But when you've died and you've possessed the new character we want to reset this so you can die again and again and again. So now it should work. So when I die the second time, yes it works, so, but right now it's still a bit strange because you just instantly teleport over here, it's not like you're dying really. So what we'll do is go to your widgets folder, create a new widget, call it dead or something, save it, open it up, and I'll add the image. Uh, make sure it fills the screen. It's actually totally up to you. You can choose. I've already imported a dead image. I'll choose this one. And I'll add, add some text on it. Whoops. Which says you died. Now make it bigger. 50. Let's say 80. 
and I'll make sure it's placed in the center so it doesn't move. I really like round numbers so that's why. <laughs> Compile and save. But now we still need to tell the game when to display this. So in your level blueprint we can drag this over here and call create widget. Make sure you select the dead widget and add it to the viewport. Behind this we need to say remove from parent because we want to remove the dead screen once we've respawned. So now this should also work. Okay we didn't see the screen because it goes so fast we have to add a delay. So when I put a delay over here of 2 seconds then it will show up. Oops missed it. See you died and now I respawn. But still I can walk around and it feels glitchy so you'll have to change the order of some things. So, the, so drag the delay node over here, drag this over here just like that and now we destroy the character and add the screen so we can't move then it gives you a delay so you won't respawn the first two seconds so you will see the screen. This will be a little nicer. Right there. You can't move, you just died. Nice screen, visualization. But still, there's no sound. It's always missing something. I've already imported the sound. So we just go to open level blueprint. You can choose any sound you like. But it has to be of the file type WAV so after we destroyed the character we play a sound 2D minus dead sound so I compile and save play <coughs> and there you go I died and I respawned and I can die again and <coughs> again and respawn again so that's basically it. I hope it helped you out. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial. And be sure to leave a like and subscribe and follow me on my Patreon page. Bye.